Morning Year 11. Today you're going to play the part of Robert Hooke, who discovered a law that describes the relationship between the force you apply to a spring and the extension of that spring. So, here I've got my equipment set up, just like you will have. Um, we've got a retort stand, which is made of the stand itself, the boss and the clamp. Attached to the clamp is your spring. I've then got some masses here, a meter ruler, and my results table, which you will also have. And the experiment is a simple one. All we're going to do is, in the first instance, you can see that there is no force being exerted on the spring. So we take our meter ruler, and we're going to measure the initial length of the spring. You can see that it's about there we go, two centimetres. We're going to put that on the results table. Zero force. The length of the spring was, well, two centimetres, so 20 millimetres, and it hadn't stretched at all. Then, we're going to apply a force. So we take, uh, this is a mass of 100 grams, which will exert a force of one newton. And you can see as you put that on there, the string stretches. So you've got to wait a sec. Till it's steady, and then you remeasure your spring. So now it's coming out at ooh, 32 millimeters. Here's the tricky bit, right? So we've exerted a force of one newton. The length is now 32 millimeters, but that means it has stretched by 12 millimeters, and it's the stretch that we're really interested in. So each time you add force onto the spring you have to calculate the stretch so one more time we're going to add another newton of force again we'll wait until it's steady we measure the length which comes out at 69 millimeters so we've got two newtons we've got 69 millimeters oh god now i've got to do some maths so we've got 49 millimetres worth of stretch and so on you will continue to add uh, force well you'll add masses to exert more and more force on the spring but you must not get to the stage where the spring stretches so much that it doesn't spring back again uh, that point is called the limit of proportionality and because we want to look after our springs year 11 we will not go beyond the limit of proportionality all right off you go